Hi everyone, Shy here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. Imagine a city built with grand dreams, now left silent and forgotten. In this video, we're taking you on a journey through the world's largest abandoned cities or places that once thrived with life but now stand as strange reminders of the past. From massive metropolises swallowed by nature to industrial towns frozen in time, discover the haunting beauty and mysterious stories that left these cities deserted. If you're curious about what led to their downfall and how they look today, stay tuned as we unveil the top largest abandoned cities on the planet. Number 1. Kolmanska, Namibia in the heart of Namibia's unforgiving desert lies an enchanting site for the intrepid explorers daring to venture into the arid dunes, Kolmanska, a haunting ghost town that once sparkled with the riches of diamonds, now stands silently abandoned, a relic of a bygone era. Built during the early 1900s, this mesmerizing town emerged amidst a frenzy of diamond discoveries, drawing German settlers enticed by the allure of untold wealth. Kolmanskip's opulent vision materialized with grand German architecture, extravagant houses, and all the trappings befitting a booming diamond hub. For decades, the town flourished producing a significant share of the world's diamonds and captivating all who laid eyes on its shimmering prosperity. For the Germans, this was paradise. For the locals, who had to labor in the diamond mines for little to no pay and in horrific conditions, not so much. And like a desert mirage, Kolmanskip's fortune was fleeting. The diamond deposits dwindled as a more lucrative diamond region surfaced further south, pushing the once thriving community to scatter in search of new opportunities. The local population was left without jobs or prospects, desolated in extreme poverty. Today, the desert reclaims what was once its own abandoned houses are slowly engulfed by shifting sands, burying the city in a surreal embrace. Number 2. North Brother Island Nestled in the East River near the bustling metropolis of New York City lies North Brother Island, an eerie relic of history veiled in mystery and forgotten tales. During the late 19th century, North Brother Island housed Riverside Hospital, a facility dedicated to combating infectious diseases like smallpox and tuberculosis. The island's isolated location made it an ideal quarantine site. North Brother Island's story took a tragic turn with the infamous General Slocum disaster of 1904. The steamship General Slocum caught fire just off the island's shores, claiming over a thousand lives and leaving an indelible mark on the island's history. Over time, advancements in medical practices diminished the need for the hospital, leading to its abandonment by the 1960s. Nature's relentless reclaiming took over, rendering the island a haunting landscape of decaying hospital buildings and overgrown surroundings. Infamous Mary Mallon, also called Typhoid Mary, died on November 11, 1938, on the island, where she had been quarantined on two separate occasions in her lifetime. Her second quarantine lasted 23 years and culminated in her eventual death. During her life, she infected 47 people with typhoid. Today, North Brother Island remains off-limits to the public, shrouding its past in secrecy. Its crumbling structures and surrounding land now serve as a protected bird sanctuary. Number 3. Famagusta, Cyprus In the Mediterranean, Famagusta once shone as the world's most trendy tourist haven. Its golden era saw an influx of a list celebrities, including Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, Raquel Welch, and Bridget Bardet, who sought solace on its sun-kissed beaches, turning it into a star-studded playground each summer. Famagusta exuded opulence and splendor, boasting luxurious beachside hotels and a vibrant nightlife that attracted jet-setters from around the globe. Yet, its radiant days were destined to be cut short. In 1974, Famagusta's fate took a cruel turn during the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in August of that same year. The Turkish army advanced as far as the Green Line, the present-day ceasefire line between Turkish Cypriots and Greek Cypriots. The Turkish army controlled and fenced the city just hours before the two armies met in combat on the streets of Famagusta. The entire Greek Cypriot population fled to other nearby towns on the Greek side, fearing a massacre. The city has remained abandoned ever since. In 1984, a uni resolution called for the handover of the city to uni control so only the original inhabitants, who were forced out, could resettle in the town. Today, Famagusta is open to the public. However, because of its location in Turkish-occupied northern Cyprus, some areas of the city are still off-limits. Before moving on to the next point, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you all to my merchandise. You can support my content by getting your favorite products from my store or by simply joining my channel. 
Your support means a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 4. Plymouth, Montserrat Tucked away in the paradisiacal Caribbean Isle of Montserrat lies the haunting vestige of its former capital, Plymouth, an overseas territory of the United Kingdom located in the Leeward Island chain of the Western Antilles. This city was constructed on historical lava deposits near the then long inactive Soufri Ray Hills volcano. However, this city met a terrifying fate in 1995 when Montserrat's tranquility was shattered by the violent eruption of the Soufri Ray Hills volcano. The cataclysmic event unleashed a devastating torrent of lava and ash, leaving Plymouth engulfed in destruction and chaos. As the fiery wrath flooded the once thriving capital, its residents were compelled to flee, leaving behind their cherished abodes and memories. The bustling streets swiftly transformed into a spectral realm, forever silenced by nature's unyielding force. Today, Plymouth remains an off-limit zone due to the lingering volcanic activity lurking beneath its surface. Its poignant ruins, draped in ash and debris, serve as a haunting testament to the relentless power of Mother Nature. Plymouth is the only capital of a political territory that is also a ghost town, and a new capital is under construction at Little Bay. Number 5. Hashima Island Nestled off Nagasaki's southwestern coast lies Hashima, the enigmatic battleship island, steeped in Japan's industrial history. This tiny island, resembling a battleship from afar due to its concrete and steel buildings, has an intriguing past. During the early to mid-1900s, Hashima was a coal mining hotbed. In fact, in 1959, the population reached a total of 5,259, recording history's highest population density. Once teeming with life, Hashima's 16-acre expanse housed high-rise residences, schools, hospitals, theaters, swimming pools, and shrines, forming a vibrant microcosm of an industrial society. However, as Japan shifted from coal to petroleum in the 1970s, the island's coal industry faltered, leading to a dramatic population decline. By spring 1974, Hashima ceased operations entirely, its people dispersed, leaving behind a ghostly legacy. Years of seclusion followed, making it a forbidden gem until 2009, when it finally opened up to tourists once more. Recognizing its significance, the island earned World Heritage Site status in 2015. A powerful symbol of Japan's once booming coal era, today Hashima stands as an eye-inspiring destination where visitors can immerse themselves in the triumphs and tribulations of a bygone time. Number 6. Bodhi, California Bodhi's tale is a wild ride that starts during the California Gold Rush era in 1859. Four prospectors stumbled upon a golden nugget in a small valley located 75 miles southeast of Lake Tahoe. This just so happened to be the Motherlode region, where everyone and their mother was after the Gold Rush treasure. While the Gold Rush brought in riches, it was just as fleeting as it was grandiose. The mines and mills were abandoned by 1868 because the town had been bled dry of its gold or so they thought. Let's just say the terrain didn't make things any easier, but Bodie's luck changed when the Bunker Hill mine caved in 1875, unearthing more riches than anyone could ever dream. The word spread like wildfire, and soon every city prospector in San Francisco had Bodie on their mind. They were able to pull out a staggering $784,523 in both gold and silver bullion by 1877. But all good things must come to an end, and Bodie was no exception. The expensive machinery used in the mines and mills required more and more costly upkeep and supplies, plus gold was nowhere to be found anymore. The community was forced to face the harsh truth of being unable to work in a town that couldn't mine its promise anymore. In no time, Bodie was abandoned once more, and this time for good. Number 7. Centralia, Pennsylvania Tucked away in Columbia County, Pennsylvania, lies an unconventional tourist attraction Centralia, a toxic ghost town with an intriguing tale to tell. What sets this town apart? Well, it's not cultural landmarks or bustling bakeries but the eerie absence of them. Before its transformation, Centralia was like any other Pennsylvania coal town, housing around 1,500 residents living off the coal seam that ran beneath their feet. However, the tranquility was shattered in the 60s when a fire was lit in the town dump that spread beneath the entire valley. 
The danger escalated when a vigilant gas station owner sensed abnormal temperatures in his underground containers. Puzzled by this, he decided to measure the temperatures of the gas in his underground containers. It was more than 100 degrees above normal. The fire raged on for years, releasing toxic gases like carbon monoxide into the air, endangering the community. The residents had had enough after a 150-foot-deep sinkhole opened beneath a 12-year-old boy. He came out alive, but that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Back. By 1990, only 63 residents remain, and now a mere 10 brave souls dwell in this haunted domain. Over the past decades, the buildings gradually crumbled, leaving Centralia as a poignant symbol of the consequences of our actions. So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this timestamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description. You can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.